Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. My friend Elizabeth gave me a bunch of napkins, and I thought I would show you what I'm going to do with them because I have some ideas, and I thought it would be fun to try some out with you. And the first one I'm going to try is covering a bag with them for uh, Halloween. Well, Rich plays basketball with my fifth grade teacher. I know you're shocked because I'm only... 57 and uh, so he's in his late 70s and he still plays basketball with Rich every Sunday and last week he brought me a Halloween present and so I thought I would reciprocate so you want to make sure that you cover enough of your bag that you're happy with it and then I'm going to line it up with the right side of my bag and hopefully not have it lay down until I want it to. Now keep in mind we're going to embellish this or you know put little decorations on it so it's not a big deal. We're going to cut off the top so that's not a problem either. I have to put another line of tape runner up there because I have a little bit more napkin than I had glue so I'm going to do that then we'll take our scissors and cut that off. You can do these really fast, and they're a lot of fun, and once you're done with them, they look like you've done a lot of work when you haven't. So, um, my recommendation is, if you have very few trick-or-treaters, I don't have very many trick-or-treaters, so if you don't have very many trick-or-treaters, I think it's a great thing to try. Okay, now I'm going to fold the bag down. I'm not going to do the gusset, the sides, I think that's what you call it, the gussets, so I might be making that up. It's one of those terms that I've heard, and I think that's what it replies, applies to, but you never know. Okay, let's see if we have enough napkin to cover this side. Not quite, so I'm going to probably go on to the one I ripped and see if I can combine the two maybe and make it into something that's usable. Now we know this side is um, the right length for the napkin. that It should be the same length as the napkin. And then I have a lot of fun decorations for my bags, and I'll show you those in a second. I'm going to give this a shot. Pulling it as close to the edge as I can without making a big mess. Okay, I have a lot of fun embellishments that I'm going to play with. I have this um, little spooktacular uh, pumpkin, but I'm the, I like this one better. And then I have um, these, it's a little uh, thing that makes a little bag, and I could put that on the outside, but I'm not going to do it on this one, but I think I'm going to put the spectacular on it, over there a little bit, and then I think I'm going to maybe put something else on here that's fun. don't know. I don't know if I like that, but I do have all kinds of these little uh, candy corns that I could stick to the outside. They're foam, and I do have, I just bought these at um, um, Hobby Lobby, and I thought they were cute, and I have another fun thing I bought at Hobby Lobby. Well, I didn't find that, but I did find another bag of goodies that I have. A lot of people send me Halloween things because they know how much I like to decorate uh, and um, give Halloween treats. So I have this Venom of and Toadstool. I think that's a cute one. I'll put this one on this side. Let's see if I can get my tape runner to... I'll just lay it on here. I'm going to put it off to the side a little bit like that and then put something to the right. Maybe one of these little ghouly things. No, maybe one of these. I have a bunch of these really fun, uh, spooky little images. And I think I'm going to stick one of those on his bag right there. Rip more of my tape out since my tape is no longer viable. It's attached to me enough, though. I'll put that right there. Okay, here's what I did for the topping. I'll just show you this. I made these 
uh, I took a clothespin and I put the paper that I bought at Hobby Lobby. That's what I was going to show you. It's the paper I got at Hobby Lobby. It's called Trick or Treat. It's this pad. I really thought it was fun. And so I covered both sides of my clothespins with that. And then one I put jewels on for a little girl that I'm making one of these bags for. And then for him I put this little ghost on that my friend Elizabeth gave me, who also gave me the napkins. So I promised her I'd show her her work in progress. Um, and I have all kinds of things to stick in here for him. So um, let me show you what I'm going to do to the other bag because I'm going to make one for a little girl. So I wanted to show you how to do it, where how to separate napkins. And I, I'm not going to use Elizabeth's napkins because she graciously separated them for me. And I want to show you how to separate them. So no way to do that without having your own napkin, right? So. This is a big napkin. It says scary on it, and I thought it was kind of fun when I bought them. And so what you do is you take your washi tape, and it has to be washi tape because of the way it sticks. And you're going to open up your napkin. You're going to attach the washi tape to the edge. I don't know who showed me this tip, but it was on a YouTube channel, and it was genius. You just really, really rub it into the bottom. You see that? It just pulls it right away. It makes it it makes separating napkins a cinch. Like that. Simple. Voila. And I'm still going to use one of these, but I'll make one for you so you can see how to do it. I'm going to get another one of my paper bags. Let's see if this one works. It's probably not going to. Oh, my word. Same problem. Okay. I know you guys know what's, what I'm doing wrong, so you'll give me the scoop in a video. And, or at the, you know, in the comments. Give me the scoop, what I'm doing wrong, that I'm having this happen with every one of my tape runners today. So I glued down uh, part of my bag, and now I'm going to take off the excess. And there's the front. I, the scary's a little bit off center on this one, so I'll need to make sure on the other one that I cut a little bit of the edge off so that I end up with the scary on the center of the bag. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get some tape runner. I had some issues with my tape runners today. They all are ripping for some reason. I'm sure somebody there will know what my reasoning is of why it, these are all ripping today, but they're all tearing for some reason. So I'm just going to lay them down and tear them off and use the... I don't want to not use them because there's a lot of stuff left there. We're going to kind of center this one so we get the scary right in the middle of our bag like that. I think what I want to do with this one is um, I think I'm going to put washi tape on the edges of this one, you know, like the um, Halloween inspired washi tape. I thought that would be kind of cute. So let me grab some of that and I'll be right back. So to do the washi tape on the edges, which is what I thought I would do for fun, I did this side already just to because the S was way off to the right and this this side, the Y, is way off to the right, but I'm going to try and only get a little bit of that Y. And you're going to put your washi tape right up to the edge. You want to have enough of it on both sides so it stays. Go all the way to the bottom, and then I push mine down really well onto my mat, and then I pick it up. And I turn around, or do the same thing on this side. This side it doesn't matter as much because we have more room to work with. We don't have to worry about that um, Y that we had on the other side. So we're going to make sure we cut a little bit short on that one. So put a little bit more wash on there so that it goes the whole length. Then you flip it over, then you can see that the washi tape is sticking out on this side of the bag. So you want to pull the top part, pull the other side of the bag up. This is what's going to decorate the, the um, I don't know what they call that, the gusset, the fold, whatever they call that part of the bag. Um, we're going to decorate, that's how we're decorating it, is with the washi tape that when you fold the bag. I don't know if you saw that, I just snip an angle there 
like you would if you were doing a box because when you pull back the bottom of the bag you have to have that kind of um, cut so that you don't end up having um, a weird looking edge. I'll show you again on this side. We're lifting up the top part of the bag like that. Remember down here you have to cut that angle. So you're going to take your scissors and cut all the way across like that. I got a little bit of washi on there. Then you're going to, I don't know what that is, something on my washi tape was like fuzzy. Then you're going to take your tape and you're going to fold it over so that the inside of your bag is decorated too. And lift up your bottom. You don't want that bottom to be exposed. And then you have your bag is decorated on both sides. Now we can do the top of the bag if you want to, but I'm not going to because I'm decorating the top of my bag with um, a clothespin. So then let's do the bottom of our bag. Here's our washi tape, or not our washi tape, but our napkin. So we're going to take our washi and we're going to put it on top of the napkin, but only, uh, only on half of the top of the bag, or the bottom of the bag. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm hoping you can. You want to try and get it even if you can. If you can't, that's okay because nobody will really look at this that closely because it is the bottom of the bag. But this does do a nice job of kind of reinforcing your seams too. So then you're going to fold that back on itself on the bottom of the bag like that. And then I hope I have mine covered enough because I had that extra napkin sticking out that didn't really help me much. Cut off your excess, flip your bag over, and do this side the same way. Half of it on the bag, flip the bag over, put the wash washi tape on the bottom. I got a little washi tape stuck to my thumb. And then the bottom of your bag is decorated. Cut off the excess so you don't need that. So your bag is nice and reinforced on both gussets. See how the gussets now are, I think that's what they're called, are decorated. Kind of cute. We're going to put a decoration right here. I think I'm going to use this caution one that's kind of mangled. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down by the word scary and put the caution right there. Make sure it's stuck nice and securely. And then on this one, I'm going to this is for a little girl that um, goes to basketball too with Rich. Um, I'm going to just fold down the top like this. And I'm going to put, wait, I made one that has a diamond on it for her. There it is. Um, put the one with the diamond on it for her with the Happy Halloween. And then it says creepy on one side and then Happy Halloween and on the other. And then on his bag, that has the venom and the snakes and then on this side it has a spooktacular. I think I'm going to fold it on the spooktacular side like that. And we're going to put this one that says eek and it has a matching ghost on it for on there. So those are the two I made. Before I go, I'm going to show you how to um, make the clothespin. And all you do is you take your clothespin and you cut some paper to to kind of match the width of it. And all I did was, in this case, is I just used the paper out of that paper pack I showed you from um, Hobby Lobby. And I cut the strip that just had the words on it so that the words covered the strip. Then, and here's the part, of course, it's going to be a mystery for me because, you know, how am I going to get this to work? Um, all I, all you do at this point is you take your tape runner that clearly I'm going to have to mess with later. But you take your tape runner and you run it across this piece and you make sure the whole piece has tape runner on it. And you just take it and you lay it on there so that it's even with the bottom. I tried to make it so that oh, you know that a word ended up at the top of it, a full word, and then I just snip off the end like that, and then you trim it from the underneath. 
I don't know if you can see this, but right there, right there, there's some paper that you can see. So we'll get rid of that. Extra paper. Then you're going to flip it over. Couldn't be easier, could it? And you're going to take this side and just put more serious tape runner on it that I ruined today. So if you want it to line it up, or if you want to make it so that it's um, going to fit better, what I do is I try to make the words be as, you know, like the line of words be as clean as possible. And then I cut off so that the word trick is at the top. And again, on the top, I'm doing the same thing. I'm cleaning up any excess words that are there from the line above it if I can and then hopefully once I lay this down you're not going to have a lot of weird words on it I could start it's scary oh it does scary creepy scary works perfectly so then you push it down like that flip it over trim off this side trim off the bottom and then I cut from the underneath to make sure that I can get this part trimmed too, like the, the edges trimmed. And when I have this um, part where you have the, the paper or the um, metal sticking out, what I did with that is I bent the paper up a little bit and then I took my scissors again from the bottom. It's easier this way because you get a better angle and then I just trim that like that. You could use, if you have a demon stick, you know, a exacto knife, you could use that and it would work just, it would probably work better, but I didn't want to take the trouble to get it and you know I'm going to cut myself with that anyway, so I didn't want to do that. And then you can decorate it with anything. You can take, uh, I have these uh, cool beads that I got, I don't even know where, if someone gave them to me, I apologize that I forgot where I got them. I should start writing it on things so that when I find them a year or two later, I remember where I got them. I might have got these at a garage sale, though. I kind of think I did. And then um, they're really they're really twisted, which kind of makes it harder to get at. But the easiest thing to do is just um, clip them into the into the thing like that. So. Those are the two bags I made to um, give to people for um, filling them up with goodies, and they hold a lot of goodies. I hope you enjoyed this and that you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.